Good evening, guys. Fernando, Senia, Ricardo, Welsi, Jessica. Hello. Hi. How are you today? I'm fine, thank you. Excellent. <clears throat> I'm glad to know you are fine, you're well, you feel you feel better than yesterday. Okay, that's amazing. Okay, that's um those are good news, okay, for everyone. Okay, thank you so much, guy, for attending to today's lesson. Okay, as you know, we're gonna continue practicing the different skills in order to reinforce what you know, in order to reinforce your your prior knowledge about birds, uh, structure, tenses in English, of course. Um, and today we're gonna continue with um, the activity that we we de developed yesterday according to the speaking cards. I don't know if you remember. Okay, so missing Ricardo and Reina, but Reina is not here. So we're gonna start with Ricardo and then we're gonna move to the second activity that I have planned for you. Okay, related to the listening skill. Okay, so I don't know if Ricardo is ready to, to explain what you did yesterday. Hi. Hi, Ricardo. Hey. Number five. Fears. Okay. Pretend I am coming to visit you from another country. I am going to go to Honduras to visit you. Tell me what what the weather is like here are here and what sort of clothing you need to bring the weather must uh, be hot what type of clothing shall you need uh, love could describe what you like is it near of or afar from the school uh, I imagine that you live in a girl's beautiful and attractive place. Uh, it is far from the school one must take about uh, what do teenagers do there on weekends. Uh, her usually goes out dancing and spends time uh, with friends. Uh, finish. Okay, thank you, Ricardo. Thank you so much for participating. Okay. Uh, so, guys, let's move to the next part. Okay, let's see. <clears throat> Just give me one sec. Oh, missing class. Yes, this one is no. This, this is this is for you, but in the second part, <clears throat> yeah, you're changing, calling someone. Morning breath, changing plan, fact, some figures for conversation, leaving a message. That's one. <clears throat> okay, what we are going to do? Just let me share my screen. <clears throat> and I uh, will explain what we are going to do. Okay, so here, guys, we have a platform called uh, Britain English Council. Okay, it is a good platform, uh, platform to practice. Okay, you can find different things like online courses or learning hub or skills or general English abilities or to reinforce grammar, vocabulary, and so many things. Okay, this uh, platform has um, a free mode, but you can pay for it if you want it. Okay, for okay, <clears throat> or something more deeper. Okay, um, in terms of um, of explanations. Okay, <clears throat> uh, I'm so sorry. Okay, what we are going to do. Okay, as you see here, and uh, the title says, Live in a message. Okay, when someone calls, okay, just imagine uh, I'm calling to Ricardo. 
Rin, 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 rin. Um, hello, Ricardo. How is it going? Or what's up? Ricardo, hey, uh, um, I'm good. What about you? Uh, I'm good too. Ah, I'm glad to know that. Thank you. Um, I gotta go, my friend. Okay, bye. Stay safe. Okay, so, but what happened if Ricardo didn't hang up the phone? Okay, so, oh my God, Ricardo, uh, Ricardo he is, is not hanging up my cell phone. So I will leave, um, I will leave him a message on the phone. So, Ricardo, please call me later. Oh, Ricardo, I need to talk to you. Please uh, call me later. Okay, call me as soon as possible. Okay. Oh, Ricardo, I'm, I'm the mister. Um, I need to... I need to explain you something, okay? And this is particularly what we do when we leave a message. <clears throat> okay, what we are going to do. So in this moment, we're going to listen an audio, guys. And then you, um, yeah, we are going to read the transcript, okay, according to the audio. If, um, if you are pretty sure what you said in your in in your participation are correct or no okay and then we are gonna develop some task task number one and number two and then you will practice by or your own the listening skill okay so the preparation is just um uh, an explanation a little bit um um no uh, it, it is um with more details okay so we're going to avoid this and we're going to move to this audio, okay? So please listen. This recording. Listen and then I will stop the audio. Then I will, we're going to listen again. And then you will try to um, make a long time with me a brainstorm. Okay, so here we go. It's from the British Council. Hello, this is the sales department, Jane Solomon speaking. Hello, is Maria Fernandez there, please? No, I'm sorry. She's not in the office at the moment. She's on her lunch break. Oh, could you take a message, please? Could you tell her that Peter Griffin called? Sure. Could you give me your number? It's 07460 Thanks. That's 07460290128. Sorry, no. It's 07460990188. Yes. Please ask her to call me back and tell her it's about the PXO project. I need the new project figures. The PXO project. Right. I'll give her your message when she comes back to the office. Thank you. In case I'm in a meeting when she calls back, can I give you my email address too? Of course. Great. It's P-E-T-E-R dot G R I F F I N at F R E S H dot com. Can I read that back to you? Sure. That's P E T E R dot G R I F F I N at F R E S H dot com. Yes, that's it. Okay, I'll tell her you called. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. This recording is from the British Council. To find more okay, activities to practice your again. English, visit This recording is from the British Council. Hello, this is the sales department, Jane Solomon speaking. Hello, is Maria Fernandez there, please? 
No, I'm sorry. She's not in the office at the moment. She's on her lunch break. Oh, could you take a message, please? Could you tell her that Peter Griffin called? Sure. Could you give me your number? It's 07460-990188. Thanks. That's 07460-290188. One, two, eight. Sorry, no. It's O seven four six O nine nine O one eight eight. Nine nine O one eight eight. Yes. Please ask her to call me back and tell her it's about the PXO project. I need the new project figures. The PXO project. Right. I'll give her your message when she comes back to the office. Thank you. In case I'm in a meeting when she calls back, can I give you my email address too? Of course. Great. It's P-E-T-E-R dot G-R-I-F-F-I-N at F. R E S H dot com. Can I read that? That's P E T E R dot G R I F F I N at F R E S H dot com. Yes, that's it. Okay. I'll tell her you called. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. This recording is from the British Council. To find more activities to practice your English, visit www.britishcouncil.org forward slash learn English. OK, guys. ¿Qué comprendimos entonces del audio? ¿Qué podemos decir? Vamos a captar algún mensaje, algo que estaban diciendo los, los, los speakers. ¿Qué creen ustedes? ¿Qué comprendimos? Yo entendí que era como un señor que llamaba para preguntar sobre una pieza de un proyecto. Y que le daba el número, número de cuenta, no sé si era de cuenta o de teléfono. Porque es que decía, oh, entonces no sé si se refería a cero o a una promoción de 77 o 99 ok, muy bien, excelente ok, muy bien, Fernando, ¿alguien más? ¿qué más podríamos decir? consultaban bueno como que quería hablar con una tal María y que necesitaban un número algo así ok muy bien estábamos entonces hablando eh, estamos hablando entonces de una call verdad de una llamada que alguien está llamando y pues no respondió verdad de no respondió y pues la persona a lo mejor le interesa mucho esa llamada se pueden entonces eh, si, tú no, si tú no estás disponible o la secretaria le dice que no está disponible pues entonces usted le deja un mensaje un recado, ok, usted le deja un message, ok, esa es la palabra correcta, message, un mensaje ok, ¿Qué es lo que vamos a hacer ahorita, entonces vamos a leer el transcript para ver si lo que ustedes dijeron está correcto, ok y familiarizarnos un poquito con el vocabulario que aquí pues se menciona, entonces upa, pero es bastante entonces, yo le voy a pedir, por ejemplo, a, a Fernando que me ayude a leer el transcript. ¿Cuál de los dos? Eh, todo. Todo. Vale. todo. Sí. Bien, Pito, ¿no? okay. Jane, hello. This is the South Department of Jane Solomon speaking. Peter, hello. Is Maria Fernandez there, please? Jane, no, I'm sorry. 
she's not in the office at the moment. She's on her long break. Break, lunch break. Peter, oh, could, could you take a message, please? Could you tell her that Peter written code? Yeah. Sure. Could you give me your number? Peter, it's zero seven four six zero double nine double nine zero one two eight. Jane, thanks. That's zero seven four six zero two nine zero one two eight. Peter, sorry, no, it's zero seven four six zero double nine zero one eight eight yeah, nine nine zero one eight eight Peter yes please ask her to call me back and tell her it's about the FXEO XEO project I need the new the new project figure. Jane, the PXEO project, right? I give her, I give her uh, the message when she's come back to the office. It's a change in case in, in a mirror when she calls back, back. Can I give you my email address too? Jane, of course. Well, it's P E T E R dot G R E I C F F E N at F R A S H dot com. AJ, can I read the title to you? Sure. Again, that's P E T E R dot G R E F F E N F F R A S S H dot com. Finish. Okay, thank you, Fernando. Okay, entonces. Ahorita lo que vamos a hacer es interpretar entonces lo que es este, esta conversación entre esos dos speakers, ¿okay? para poder comprender entonces lo que es la dimensidad de lo que es esta conversación. Entonces, para ello, yo voy a pedirle a Xenia que interprete a James y le voy a pedir a Wilsey que interprete a Peter. ¿okay? Entonces, Xenia va a ser James y Wilsey va a ser Peter. Ok, mister. Hola, okay. este es el... Hola, este es el departamento de no sé qué, dice. Jane Salens habla. Hola, soy María Fernanda. Eh, please, eh, oh, my God. Vamos a ver. Por favor. No, no lo siento. Ella no está en este momento. Oh, oh Ella... I'm, I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry to interrupt you, Senia. But in English, please. Ah, yes, ah. pensé que nos estaba diciendo que interpretáramos. No, 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 no. Ah, ok, mister. Entonces comienzo yo, ¿verdad? Yes. Hello, this is the Sales Department. Jan Salomon. Jan Salomon is speaking. There, please. No, I'm no, I'm sorry. She is not the office at the moment. She is on her lunch break. Oh, close. How you tell um. Me, me send, messenger, please call to tell her that Peter 
Griff, no sé cómo se pronuncia la palabra. Ka, ka, kae. Sure, could you give my your number? X, zero, seven, four, six, zero, double, nine, zero, one, double, eight. Thanks. That's all seven four six o two nine o one two eight. Sorry, no. X zero seven four six zero nine nine zero one eight eight. Nine nine o one eight eight. Yes, please. Uh, ask her to call my dad and tell her X about uh, the B A X O project. I need I need the I need the new project figure. Ay, no. Ahorita me acordé al, al que mandó el mister al grupo. <ríe> al video que mandó el mister al grupo. Ok, vamos. The PXO project, right? I give her you mes messenger when she come back to the office. Thanks. You thank you. In cause I am in a uh, but can I give you my uh, email address too? Of course. Uh, great X P E T E R dot uh, G R I F F I M at a F R E S H dot com. Can I read the back to you? Sure. That's P E T E R dot G R. A F F A N at F R E A H dot com. We are finished, teacher. Excellent, guys. Thank you so much for participating. Okay, aquí el name de la persona. <coughs> Solo que no quería interrumpirle. Well, si es Peter. Griffin. Sí, Peter Griffin. Ok. <clears throat> Muy bien, excelente. Ok, guy. gracias, teacher. Anytime. Ok, now uh, let's see Jessica. Jessica, you will be Jane and Ricardo, you will be Peter. Ok, Jessica, Jane and Ricardo, Peter. Hello, this is the Sol Department. Jan Solomon speaking. Hello, is Maria Fernandez there, please? No, I am sorry. She's now in the office at the moment. She's on her lunch break. Oh, call you take a message, please. Call you tell her that Peter Griffin called. Sure. Call you get, call you get me your number. It's zero seven four six zero double nine zero one double eight. Ten, ten. That's zero 
seven, four, six, oh, zero, zero, two, nine, zero, one, two, eight. Sorry, no, it's zero, seven, four, six, zero, nine, nine, zero, one, eight, eight. Door nine zero one door A. Yes, please ask her to call me back and tell her it about the PXO project. I need the new project figures. The PXO project. When I get her your message, when she comes back to the office. Thank you. I case I am a meeting when she calls back. Can I give you my email address too? Of course. Read. It's P E T E R dot G R I F F I N at F R E S H dot com. Can I read that back to you? Of score. But for Peter. Es que no le con las letras no me dejan ver. Eh, uh, sure. That that's P A T A R dot G R E F F A N at the F R E S C do con H do con finish. Yes. Okay, excellent guys. Thank you so much for participating. Okay, just an observation. Okay, la letra R is it R, no air. Okay. Yo solo les digo a los niños <coughs> cuando, cuando también me pronuncian así, air is. Entonces, oh. digo, <coughs> acuérdense de los piratas. ¿Cómo le hacen oh. los piratas? Air o le hacen R? <coughs> le hacen R, ¿verdad? <coughs> Entonces, <coughs> muy bien. Thank you so much. Thank, thank you, sir. Ok, anytime. Entonces, ahora viene la parte más divertida. Ya les voy a contar por qué. No es porque vamos a ir al, al, al Playland Park, ¿verdad? Nada. No, nada que ver. <coughs> vamos a hacer un exercise para medir su, reading, um, su listening comprehension. Ok. Entonces, <coughs> ¿qué es lo que vamos a hacer? Aquí en este first part vamos, eh, tenemos eh, six items, ¿ok? ¿Qué tenemos que recordar? Ok. Entonces, la pregunta consiste en responder lo siguiente. Are the sentences true or false? ¿Son estos, estas oraciones eh, verdaderas o falsas? De acuerdo a lo que escuchamos y de acuerdo a lo que leímos. Entonces, la number one. María's in a meeting. Okay. María está en una meeting. True or false? False. <coughs> ¿Seguro, que, ¿Seguro que false? <coughs> Yes, mister. Okay. Peter's number is 0746099128. Uy, ese nombre. No. Yo creo que sí. True. True. Yes. True. No me sé ni el mío, mister. <laughs> yes. Sí, parece right? que sé. Yes. True. Okay, true. Okay, number three. 
Peter needs to give Mary and the new prior to your years. True. It's true. 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 Yeah. True. 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 Okay. Yes. Okay, it's, it's true. Okay, next. <clears throat> Peter mind being a meeting later than afternoon. At uh, that afternoon. What do you think? Mind um mind significa um <clears throat> poder. Si ¿Sí? si Peter va a poder estar en la meeting. For no. <laughs> <clears throat> is false? Yes. False. Okay. Number number five. Peter prefers Maria to email him back instead of calling back. Yes, true. True? true? Yes. Okay, let's see. True. And the last one, Peter's e uh, Peter's email address is Peter uh, Griffin at PXO. Dot com. True. Peter, P, Peter dot Griffin at pxo dot com. True, Mister. True. True. Okay, let's see. Okay, is that true? Okay. <clears throat> okay, so let's check. Vamos a ver qué tan buen listeners son ustedes. Oh my God, total score is one out of six. <laughs> Una de seis. Todas están malas. <clears throat> Todas están malas. Oh my God, ¿qué pasó? ¿Por qué, mister? Ah, y esa es la question. Why? <laughs> 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 esa es la question. Why? <clears throat> ya vamos a ver por qué. <clears throat> ya vamos a denunciar en HCH esta aplicación. <clears throat> <clears throat> que nos puso todas malas. Ok. Está hackeado. <ríe> Está hackeado, ¿verdad? ¿no? Ok, miren muy bien las respuestas. <ríe> María is in a meeting. Ok, it's false. Mm -hmm. Peter number is, it's false. Peter needs to get María new project, it's false. Y ahora, comprobar. <ríe> ok, aquí en A. Ok, acá. Entonces, dice, <ríe> Hello. This is a, the sales department. Jim Solomon speaking. Hello. Is Maria Fernandez, Fernandez there, please? Okay. Miren quién está, quién está, quién está llamando, ¿verdad? Jim dice, hello, this is the sales department. Jim Solomon speaking. Entonces viene Peter, le dice, <coughs> Hi, eh, hello. Is Maria Fernandez there, eh, there, please? No, I'm sorry. She... And she's not in the office at the moment. She's on her lunch break. <clears throat> okay, ella está en una meeting o está en donde? No, ella está, está en su tiempo libre con, eh, con su almuerzo, en su tiempo de almuerzo. <clears throat> Correcto, okay. Dice que ella está en su tiempo de almuerzo. Okay, dice, no, sorry. She is not in the office at the moment. She is on her lunch break. Entonces significa que ella está en una meeting. María está en una meeting. ¿Para qué mm. no? It's false. No. Ella está en su lunch break. Lunch. Sí. <clears throat> Ahora sigamos leyendo. Dice. <clears throat> oh, could you take a message, please? Could you tell her that Peter Griffin called? Sure. Could you give me your number? También presta atención al nombre. 07460. Que vamos a ver si comienza así. 074. 074, <coughs> ¿verdad? Ahora. Dice, el número 7. Ajá, dice 60. Mire, 60. Yes, 60. Y luego dice. <coughs> Oh, vamos a ver, aquí está. Six zero double eight, o sea, son dos nueve, y luego cero uno. O sea, noventa y nueve cero uno. Noventa y nueve cero uno, y ahí que al final. Veintiuno. Ajá, y two eight, ¿verdad? Es que ese teníamos que estarlo viendo, mister, para estar seguros. <ríe> está pero mal, ¿verdad? 
<coughs> Ahora luego dice, Peter needs to get Maria the new private figures. Te vamos a ver aquí. <coughs> vamos a ver. Dice, bueno, luego Peter lo ref, eh, refuerza su number, su, no, su cell phone number. Dice, yes, please ask her to call me back and tell her it's about the PXO pride. I need, I need the new pride figures. Ok. Dice que Peter, please ask her to call me back. Ok. It's about the PXX project. I need the new project figures. Él necesita las, eh, las nuevas piezas del proyecto. Ok. Entonces dice que, eh, dice Peter que Peter needs to give Maria the new project figures. No, ¿verdad? También es al contrario. María se las tiene que dar a él. Uh -huh. Sí. Pero la idea se entendió, ¿verdad? Pero es al contrario. ¿Ok? Y así sucesivamente. Déjenme chequear el time. Ok, muy bien. Entonces, mira, podemos ir chequeando las demás y ahí, ¿verdad? Nos damos cuenta. ¿Qué vamos a hacer en este moment? No me quiero detener mucho en este exercise porque me interesa mucho que ustedes puedan practicar. Carlos, ok, by your own. Este ejercicio no lo voy a culpar. Estaba en un nivel, un nivel un poquito avanzado, un nivel A2. Ok, yo quería ver cómo ustedes estaban en ese nivel de A2. Ok, es un nivel, por así decirlo, como para inglés 3. Ya finalizando nivel 3. Ok, pero de lo contrario lo hicieron muy bien y pudieron comprender el mensaje. Y eso es lo más importante. Ahora nos vamos a ir un poquito más abajo. Sí, más abajo, nos vamos a, a ir a la parte del A1, que sería el nivel de beginners, ¿sí? Y vamos a, y vamos a practicar con este que se llama... Ok, or, ¿cuál era? First class, esta. Ok, yo le voy a mandar a usted este link aquí por el eh, message box para que usted pueda... Eh, pulsar el link y pueda eh, realizar este ejercicio por su propia cuenta. Ok. <coughs> Aquí se lo mandé. Aquí por eso. Entonces usted lo va a realizar, va a entrar, va a omitir esta parte que dice preparation y se va a ir de un solo a lo que es la parte del audio. Lo va a escuchar dos veces. Luego va a leer la, el transcript, que sería la transcripción para poder comprender. Y luego se va a ir a la task number one. ¿Ok? A la task number one. Creo que no nos va a ajustar el tiempo para hacer number two, pero intentemos hacer task number one y task number two. ¿Ok? Entonces me hacen saber si el link les abre. ¿Sí les abrió el link? Ya Ok, perfecto. Ok, entonces los dejo trabajando y luego vengo aquí a preguntar cómo va.
¿Cómo vamos, chicos? I finished, teacher. Excellent, Welsi. What is your score? ¿Cuál es su nota? Eh, en el ejercicio uno, saqué cinco de ocho. <ríe> y en el dos, saqué cuántas son. Cuatro de seis. Cuatro de seis. Four out of six. Sí. Okay, excellent. Sí. Okay, excellent. What about the rest? Ricardo, Jessica, Senia, Fernando, do you finish? Yeah, in the first one, I took 7 of 8. And in the second one, I took 4 of 1. Okay. It's a hard work. It's a little more fun. The second one, the second one, I took 1 of 1. I took 1 of 1 of 1. Okay, excellent. Thank you. Jessica, Ricardo, Senio, what about you? En la primera saqué siete, mister. Ok, seven, ok. ¿En la segunda? No, la segunda no, no he terminado. Ok, guys. Entonces, está bien. Si no han terminado, entonces pueden terminar allí en casa, ¿verdad? Los ejercicios quedan abiertos. Eh, la plataforma es totalmente gratuita. Ustedes pueden utilizarla. Así que ahí guárdenla en su Rage Park. Guárdenla como, como favorita para que siempre les aparezca como en esa parte del dashboard. Ok. Así que eh, vamos a parar aquí. Mañana vamos a continuar con estos ejercicios de listening. Parece que son muy importantes y que no hemos detenido mucho tiempo para poder practicar listening. Ok, así que eh, mañana vamos a seguir practicando listening. Así que todos preparados, traten de terminar los ejercicios del día de hoy. Y yo siempre les recomiendo, ¿verdad? Escuche mucha música en inglés o okay, que trate de ver su programa favorito en inglés, su teléfono, modifíquelo. Ok, solo de esa forma, solo de esa forma, solo de esa forma usted pues... Eh, va a poder mejorar, ¿verdad? Su, esa parte, ¿no? De, de la escucha activa, de que usted pueda comprender los mensajes, etc. ¿Ok? Así que, guys, if you have any question or doubt, ¿ok? It's time for asking. If not, do not forget, you can hit me out through the WhatsApp group. No question, mister. No question. Okay. <clears throat> okay, got it. Okay, no question or doubts, guys. Okay, you can say bye-bye, and I have to see you tomorrow. Okay? Bye-bye. Don't forget to finish the episode. Bye. Bye, bye. bye Fernando. Senia, Ricardo, Welsi. Bye-bye. Stay safe. Bye, Jessica. <clears throat>